Hi guys and uh, welcome to my review of the TKZK Oranos. I think I'm saying this uh, properly. Um, anyway, this is the second item from TKZK. The first one some of you might recall was the uh, TKZK Wave, which I have over here. And uh, to a great extent, the reason why this IEM uh, was an IEM that actually um, was was uh, was satisfying in its sound to those that obviously do like this sound signature and did buy it because it wasn't really an IEM that was really um, popular was the fact that it had um, a signature very reminiscent of the uh, HD sound heart mirror so a very um, kind of neutralish bass with an with a more brightish upper end. Uh, but it was well done, well executed, enough bass to keep up with the rest of the signature. Uh, and although it was a one plus one, it 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 had its uh, it had obviously its its limitations. But overall, it was a a really nice IEM. I have to I have to say it was a really nice IEM and one that um, uh, I, I keep very very uh, um, well. I keep very close whenever I want to do certain certain comparisons. Although I don't usually uh, mention it. Anyway, this is not what we're talking about. It's not the wave that we're talking about. It's the Oranos, which is the latest one. Uh, it's um, uh, just a single DD this time, not a one plus one, and it's using a CNT driver, so carbon, carbon nano tube. Anyway, this is the box. It's got a nice kind of like style to it. Simple. The IEMs came over there, obviously. Some paperwork, and uh, inside as well, there's um, this box here. Which brings, which contains uh, a carrying case and some tips. All of this is is fine. I mean, I guess it's okay when you consider that we're talking about about fifty, fifty, fifty-five dollars for the price. Uh, I guess it's it's acceptable. It's it's neither good nor bad. It's it's what it is. Period. Um, let me just put this away here. Sorry, sorry, guys. There we go. Just get this out of the way. So packaging is basic, simple, straight to the point. It's fine. IEMs themselves, uh, nice kind of uh, resin type shell, okay, with this um, cool looking faceplate. Let me see if I can focus this a little bit better so you guys can see. It's got a cool looking faceplate, and I'm guessing these are gold sparkles. Therefore, the name brings a TKZK logo on it, okay. Um, the shell in itself is kind of a shell which is very reminiscent of some IEMs that we've seen of late um, and, and I'm talking about of course the uh, uh, QES cadenza, I'm talking about the uh, IVPIQ100, I'm talking about the 10 high fi C3 they all kind of share the same similar look to it. Uh, this is the stock cable again it's, it's not good it's not bad it's, it doesn't tangle at least which is nice um, it's fine. It's it's okay. You know, it's uh, it, it does the job, I guess. Um, in terms of fit, perfect. Really, no complaints in that aspect. Fits nicely. I'm using the KB Year 07, the medium-sized tips, the uh, cyan color one, the one that's got the cyan stem, as you can see. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Fits nicely. Isolates pretty decently. It's not heavy, so no fatigue in terms of the usage. No fatigue in terms of the usage. It's got a CNT driver, so it's it's a, it's a decent enough driver. It's the same kind of driver that you find, for example, in the Blon 03 that you find in the um, Heart Mirror that you find in um, uh, Olina that you find in Oxygen. So uh, well, it it, sh it should be, uh, and it is actually you know wanting not wanting to say too much and it is actually a, a, a good quality driver you do notice when when you put it on and you start listening to it the, the, the driver is a quality driver anyway this is the kind of basic um, uh, initial talk for for the Oranos what do I have here well I've tried to select IEMs which are centered between 30 uh, $30 and uh, $55 so all of these IEMs that I have in front of you here are uh, in that price range. Uh, oh yeah, before I carry on, uh, I used this time I actually did most of the listening with my TK2. I did some listening with the uh, with my NX7 Frankenstein, but I actually did most of the listening with the um, with the TK2. Um, IVPIQ100 um, 
around fifty dollars. Beryllium driver, beryllium driver, beryllium coated driver, thirty two ohm impedance. Well, normal. Kiwi ears cadenza, kind of the the disruptor in this group. Thirty five dollars. Also beryllium coated driver, also the same impedance. Um, the Queen of Audio gimlet. Um, probably out of all probably out of all it's the one that's got the, the fanciest built honestly um it, it uses a lcp driver this time uh, and it's got this um it's actually i've i've come to find out that it's actually a metal a magnesium shell and it's got this heavy coating this heavy painted coating of uh, ceramic um so I, I apologize if i induced people in the wrong manner saying it was just a ceramic uh, shell but it, no it isn't it's a, actually a magnesium shell that's been heavily painted with ceramic so but still that doesn't detract nothing from the fact that it's a beautiful im very nice finish it's it's like i said i, I think it's probably the one that's got the, the, the nicest finish over here uh next with the hg sound heart mirror uh, zero zero um and i'll get into one thing i'll get to i'll, I'll get to that one in a second um over here the Tenifier, the C2, uh, um, again, it's got, it's using, well, it's using a, 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 a LCP, but it's an LCP plus PU, so polyurethane or polymer um, diaphragm, uh, also 32 ohm impedance. Um, next with the T2 DLC, obviously using the DLC um, uh, diaphragm. Uh, 32 ohm impedance as well again next to that we've got the 10 high fighter c3 uh, and that uses again an lcp uh, driver so it kind of there's kind of a, a tendency here to to go for lcp so we have beryllium beryllium lcp lcp uh, and lcp there then we have dlc and then we have uh, cnt and cnt over here so there's a there's a, a big tendency to going to go for LCP drivers, and there's a specific reason I'm guessing uh, for that. I, I could be saying something wrong, and if I am, I apologize. And, and whoever knows better, please correct me. But um, um, much like uh, titanium coated drivers uh, will have uh, um, the ability to perhaps get the higher frequencies uh, done in a in a, in a more detailed manner lcp uh, by its nature has a tendency of giving the the, the bass and the mids a nice organic uh, feel a uh, nice organic uh, timbre and tonality um, cnt does the same thing but it's a little bit more clinical beryllium coated drivers are very fast drivers usually for the for the most uh, but they're also a little bit more clinical in the way they present themselves uh, dlc again very similar to cnt drivers overall anyway let's get straight into this and 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 and, and get this out of the way because this is not going to be a complicated review really this the ivpiq the qe ears cadenza um, the T2 DLC, the, the, C, the C2, the C3, the Gimlet, and the Oranos, they all share the same kind of signature. What changes here is how bassy or how less bassy they are and how slightly it changes the way that the pin again is done. A little bit more abruptly, a little bit less abruptly, where it, where it then ultimately will peak. 2.5, 2.8, 3, and how then it goes across the, the, that, and ultimately as well, how then the extension is past 10K. Um, when I show you the graphs in a couple of minutes, I actually went to the trouble of graphing them all with always the same tip. And if there's a commonality here in a lot of these IEMs is that whiteboard tips here seem to do magic, okay? Um, although, as you can see here, for example, in the case of the C2, and you can also see in the case of the of the T2 DLC, I am then using, I've got them here with the tips that I used personally myself to get the, the best fit, okay? So, let's, let's, let's kind of, let me try and break this down. The most, the ones that will have the most uh, full bass, the most bass heavy, are going to be the IVPIQ and the Cadenza, okay? The C3 is very close to that, so is the T2 DLC. 
uh, the gimlet, the C2 and the um, Oranos are a little bit less bassy. Um, and obviously the, 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 the least bassy one is the, the, the heart mirror. And it's actually the only one that doesn't have the same kind of harmony style signature. Okay. Um, the way then that the mids are done in all of them, and let me just exclude now for a second the, the heart mirror, is very similar. They all have very well executed male and female voices. Um, perhaps the one here, the other two here, that have maybe a little bit more emphasis on the female voices will be the C2 and the T2 DLC. Uh, but for the most, all of them have all got very similar way of executing male and female voices. Instruments are also very well executed. Again, again, I would say that the C2 and the T2 DLC are the ones that with some instruments, brass and strings, will just have a little bit extra twing, a little bit extra zing to it, okay? Uh, that doesn't mean it's worse or, 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 or that it's better than the others. It's just what you pick up. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, to, to a certain extent, that has to do with, with the diaphragm material. But uh, you can see that the CL2, uh, it's, it's actually an LCP and, and also has that characteristic. Anyway, um, the extension then of, of them is, uh, as I mentioned uh, just a, a few seconds ago or moments ago, has very much to do with the type of tip and with the whiteboard tips. And I mean, for example, in the, in the IVPIQ, and, and I've actually, that's the tip I actually use on it all the time, the, the JVC, the, the, the spiral dots. Wow. I mean, seriously, this is unreal. Uh, and it's actually curious because I put the spiral dots on the cadenza and the cadenza doesn't, um, it doesn't have the same magic. The spiral dots on the IVPIQ work magically well. Magic, magic, magic. Uh, the BQEYZ whiteboard tips on the C3, magic as well. Pure magic. They work phenomenally well. Phenomenally well. Um, out, of all of the, out of all of them, the one that probably has the most extension okay and that you feel that it's got the most extension will probably be the t2 dlc uh, f closely followed by these two very closely followed by these two um, when you actually see the graphs although they will be s they will be looking very similar you will not it's not like that when you actually listen to it okay again i, I reiterate having the most extension doesn't necessarily mean it's the, the it's the best or it's the worst it's it's just the way that it, it does it the Oranos, uh, next to all of them, how does it how does it um, uh, how does it handle itself? The Oranos is, uh, for the most part, the easiest way I can actually classify it is a C3 with a little bit less bass. I think that's probably the best way I can describe it. Um, it's got great tonality, great timbre. The instruments are represented perfectly, in my opinion. Um, male and female voices, perfect. Bass is again perfect. There's the differences in reality. The differences between these seven here yeah, are minimal differences. It's not like there's all oh, huge differences or no. It's then in the finer details that you note that you all and you might notice it. I mean, I notice it. Maybe you won't notice it. Maybe you'll notice it differently. But it's in the finer details that you pick up that one is a little bit more polished than the other in this or in that uh, representation. Um, the one IEM that uh, is both engaging out of all of them, yeah, that's both engaging, but at the same time will quickly show more uh, its, its unpolishedness and take that with a grain of salt is the C2. It's, it's fantastic. It sounds really, really good, but it's the one that when pushed really hard it will show its its it will lose its composure more quickly than the rest okay uh, in terms of sound stage they all have very capable uh, sound stages uh, i mean the differences are really very minor imaging uh, i would give imaging uh, t2 dlc uh, c3 these two probably are the ones that 
have got the best imaging in terms of detailed retrieval. I mean, uh, fantastic detailed retrieval here. Yeah, really good detailed retrieval as well. Sorry, not on not on the IVPQ on the on the cadenza. Uh, but again, let me make it a point to to repeat this: the differences are not huge. What ultimately then will be the dictating uh, uh, the factor? Well, it will be first of all price. If I have to look at all of these IEMs yeah, and say, okay, which is the one that's got the most appealing price and bang for the buck? Um, probably I would say the Cadenza. Um, it's it's just, you know, for $35, uh, and I've seen it at 32 already, what it offers, uh, it's very, very difficult to, to beat. Okay, you could argue, but okay, the C2 costs 30 and it's got a metal shell. Okay, fine, but ultimately the C2 is not as polished as that. It isn't. That there edges this out. It's got a flusher, more, 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 um, more serious sound to it. Not that this hasn't got a serious sound, but that just sounds that little extra more, more polished, more, more high end with a grain of salt. Okay. Uh, which of them, or which of these, in terms of their fit? Um, uh, is good or, or not they're all good I think the only one here that's a might be a problem is a T2 DLC by nature of what it looks like in terms of its shell design the rest all fit nicely which of them or which of these has got the most premium shell the gimlet it's it's it look it just looks the part it just looks really the part uh, and it's available in white and in green I mean the green one must be uh, absolutely stunning I'm sure um, so you know the the Oranus is uh, another one of those IEMs that uh, it's it's good, it's really good, it's really nice, it plays really nice, but it's in a market that is so congested and this this price range especially has become so good. I mean these IEMs here, okay, these IEMs here, easily easily two three years ago would be twice the price, very easily very easily there's there's nothing that for example uh, an IEM from 3 from 2018 2019 2020 there is nothing that an IEM at $100 or 100 up to $150 even does better than any of these honestly nothing these have um, and, and following up on what I heard a fellow reviewer say the other day that um, an IEM that he was talking about had become Kind of the new, um, let's say, the new area. In that, when the area came out, it was uh, a market disruptor, a uh, market uh, troublemaker. Um, these ones uh, are, in their own right, as well. You know, um, uh, the on, on the same the same page. I mean, the cadenza at thirty five dollars. You know, this uh, and I mentioned it when I reviewed it. This this can trade blows quite well with an Alina. Um, you know that, that's that's some that's some serious praise in my book. Um, the IVPIQ one hundred. The, the problem with IVPIQ one hundred is that uh, it, it it initially had a very high price of eighty dollars, and it, so when when you when you consider that these two are basically the same thing, you know this by default kind of already kind of eliminates itself. Um, when you're talking, uh, then uh, you know C3, uh, sorry C3 Oranos and T2 DLC. These three yeah are very very equal. More, uh, more, de more uh, slightly more maybe detailed over here. And these two with the warmer, more lusher sound, a little bit more bass ultimately on this one um, as compared to the others. But probably more down to the fact that it hasn't got as much extension or not as much perceived extension. Um, so, you know, it, it's kind of what is your real preference, but the differences are minimal. Seriously, guys, I mean, I would be lying if I was telling you, oh, no, this is huge differences between them. No, it is, it is what you, it, it, uh, this is what you, you, you know, you, what you like. It is that, that's, that's the reality. Um, the, the 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 C two, um, you know, it's got a nice shell. It's got this kind of uh, almost campfire vibe going for it. 
it plays really well it, it's it's a really nice im it just loses out to the rest of them yeah by not being as as polished ultimately um but again not a huge difference and and the hd sound which i've kind of left for for last place the hd sound just rekindles the original um the original signature that the, the original hd sound hardware had which is a kind of very neutralish bass uh, with um, a brighter upper end so neutral bright you could say you could call it as opposed to the rest of them which is a whole are more harmonish and again it, it's its choice will be a choice down will be dictated by do you prefer more that type of sound or a more harmonish kind of signature um, and that's it guys I think there's really nothing more uh, that I can say uh, the Oranos is a well executed IEM it's well built it's got a nice shell it looks the part uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that probably in different parts of the world it will have different prices and that also will be a, a factor that will determine its choice over the others that are here present but honestly you know uh, you cannot go wrong be it with the cadenza be it with um, the the c3 be it with the oranos be it with the gimlet be it with the t2 dlc you you can't really go wrong i would i would probably say honestly uh, i would probably say that that those are my choices i would take this out um because of the high price that it initially had so it kind of killed it this between this and the and the and this and the cadenza at the price that they have i mean this as well gets kind of uh, taken out of the equation uh the cadenza obviously the price is the biggest uh, the biggest um, factor going for it the t2 dlc plays amazing but the, the fit will probably be the issue so this one also gets kind of uh, excluded uh, which leaves us with these four as uh, options uh, with each one of them having a kind of a, a particular a peculiarity to them um, again just to, re to remind everybody this has got a brilliant coated driver that's an lcp this is an lcp this is the cnt uh, these three here well not these three really they all have a very very lush sound it, it's it's the, the sound of all of them is very lush uh, the problem with uh, these two which are probably the, the latest ones to come into the into this war is the fact that you know they they are competing against two really really good ims at this price range which is the c3 and and the, the cadenza and <laughs> it's it's a hard one it's, it's a hard one trust me being a reviewer is not easy it's not easy because i don't want to mislead people i don't want people to be spending money without you know um without need to 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 spend so it's not an easy one and then the the, the actually sound hard metal like i said just earlier it's 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 the one that has a totally different sound signature so you know if that's what you prefer that could be the one to to go for anyway guys i'll show you now the graphs quickly so you have an idea of what's going on here and uh yeah i'll uh, catch you in the next one take care Hi guys and uh, welcome now to the graph section of my uh, TKZK Oranos review. Uh, well, I've got all the graphs there. Let me just start taking all the graphs out so you can better visualize visualize everything. Okay, I'm going to start off straight away with the graph for the cadenza, which is this. And uh, just a quick reminder, I used the whiteboard tip on all of them across the board so that uh, the whiteboard tip that I used was, see if you guys can see, was this one here, okay, all right, anyway, okay, so, Kiwi Years Cadenza, speaks for itself, harmonish kind of signature, nice full sub bass, not much bleed into the, well, no bleed into the mids actually, nice progressive way that does a pin again, picks at about three and then just you know goes a nice extension really nice signature the play is really really nice uh this one now is the the c3 the tenafi the c3 um again the same thing very similar bass pin again is nice and gradual uh it starts peaking at around three and then again very similar i mean <laughs> it speaks for itself there uh next is the ivpiq uh 100 uh, and as you can see, uh, let me actually just take out the other well, two so that doesn't. The IVP IQ, as you can see, next to the cadenza is almost identical as well. 3K peak, very similar, okay? Um, Oranus, this is what we want to see now. This is the Oranus now, sorry. There we go. That's the graph of the Oranus. And 
just take it away for you. And um, as you can compare, well, straight away with, let me just put here the C3, uh, C3 Oranos, C3 Oranos. You see what I'm talking about? So C3 has got a little bit more bass, but the way that the whole pin again is done and that kind of semi, kind of almost peak there three and then the way it just carries on through, just a little bit less extension, but it, it's in essence, it's uh, it's not uh, un, 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 unfair or un, unjust to say what I mentioned before, that the C3, the, the, C3, the Oranos are very, very equal, the Oranos just being a little bit more laid back, just a little bit more relaxed, okay? Um, the well, the HD Sound Heart Mirror, we already know what it's like. That's it's this one, okay. Uh, and then the other ones that I selected were the C2, okay. That's the C2 there, which when you when you see the graph, you think okay, but this is going to sound very similar to the Oranos. No, it doesn't. It doesn't sound. It sounds more. It sounds more clinical. It sounds more more. It sounds more. This is not the right word, but it sounds more digital. Uh, while the Oranos has got this, this more uh, lushness, this more uh, warmth uh, associated with it, okay? Um, the other one is the T2 DLC, which is this one. Again, um, the, the, the overall signature very similar to the Oranos, but when you actually listen to it, Firstly, you notice that it's got um, the bass is a little bit more quicker on the T2 DLC, and it's got more detail than, than, than the Oranos, which is well understandable by what you see over here. Um, and 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 what am I forgetting? Whatever. Oh yes, the gimlet, the gimlet. I was forgetting the gimlet. Oh my God, how could I do that? Celeste, Queen of Audio. Sorry, Queen of Audio, Queen of Audio. Where are you? Uh, I apologize, guys. Queen of audio. There we go. Queen of audio. Queen of audio. Gimlet. That's it. Just align it here. There we go. Um, the gimlet uh, kind of also has that kind of harmony uh, signature, as you can see. Uh, and compared to 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 the, to the Oranos, the, the biggest difference that you notice uh, uh, really is the fact that it's got this more full mid bass. Okay, um, so you could perhaps say that the gimlet is a little bit more colored, and not not as neutral as uh, well neutral with a grain of salt, obviously, as the rest of the other IEMs here. But it, look. It, it's, it's like I mentioned before, they all are very similar. We have, as you can see, the, the, the gimlet. We have, um, I'm going to put here now, the C2, okay? Uh, we have uh, the, 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 we have the, the T2 DLC. We have now uh, 11 the Oranos. We have uh, 10 is, 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 is. Uh, the IVPIQ, the C3, and the Cadenza. And as you can see, all of them, all of them, all of them, kind of all have the same very kind of type of signature, harmony style. Um, the, the one that stands out with being the most mid bass heavy is the Gimlet, as you can see here when I just, uh, you know, make it pop a little bit more. Um, the rest kind of they all there is two of them which the, the Oranus is one of them which uh, a little bit less bass prominent but they all are very similar sounding the, the the differences are very minor and it's like I mentioned in the review it's down to price down to how you like the look of it down to fit down to overall build quality that will dictate ultimately the the the, the, the choices that you will make uh, they all are, are very equal in terms of their their sound with very very minor differences okay and um, there's ones which are less polished and in that group i would say the c2 is the one that's probably the less polished out of all of them um while the others are a little bit more lush a little bit more polished a little bit more uh, a little bit more not even mature is the right word but I, i'm sure you guys are understanding what i'm trying to say and again remember this uh, this is with my musical taste and with what i listen to you know um Many of you probably will, 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 if you have the opportunity to listen to all of these IMs, you might not come to the same conclusion as I have. 
um, but yeah it's it's as you can guys as you guys can see it's a super super competitive market highly 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 difficult to uh, really uh, you know make up your mind when when there's so many options you know it's it's and, and, and all of them are really good it's not like before we used to have options at the same price point but the differences between the items were significant enough to kind of position them more easily right now uh, you know they've all kind of gone down the same formula and there's nothing wrong with that the only thing that is wrong with that obviously is that it, it just makes it more difficult to to, to choose because yes you know that they all will sound well which they all do they all sound good they all reproduce music nice you know uh, it, it's down to your uh, do you like blue or do you like green it's as simple as that guys any questions please feel free to ask and uh, I'll see you in the next one alright take care bye bye